What's up guys, it's Darwin. So today I figured I would finally make a video and a full review of an amazing bike that Surly makes that they specifically designed for bikepacking and the rig that I'll be taking on my through ride of the Arizona Trail at the end of October. It's the Surly ECR. So, like I said in the beginning, the Surly ECR was specifically designed for bikepacking in mind. And as Surly says, it was kind of a love child born out of the Ogre, the Krampus, and the Long Haul Trucker. Um, very similar to the Krampus, yet having a lower bottom bracket drop and quite a bit of a longer rear triangle like the Long Haul Trucker. Um, so a very capable bike of doing just about anything that you want it to do. Because the ECR is a 29 plus platform, Surly went with the Nard 29 by 3 inch tire um, sitting on the rabbit hole wheel set and the Surly Ultra front hub. Um, on the side of the fork, all steel fork, you can see they gave you a ton of different attachment points, a bunch of different bosses to put gear um, or any water bottle cages. They decided to go with the Avid BB7 mechanical disc brake um, running a 180 rotor on the front and then it's a 160 rotor on the rear. If we go up here to the cockpit of the bike you'll notice the Jones H-bar which is really good for hanging extra gear off the front like a sleeping bag micro shift shifters and then the avid brake levers. Moving down to the drivetrain of the bike you get a Surly OD crankset with a 2236 chain ring, a Shimano SLX front derailleur, they put a KMC silver chain on it, and then a Dior LX rear with a 1136 cassette. So just like the Troll and the Ogre, Surly put a direct trailer mount into the rear on both sides and bosses for racks and gears. Uh, they give you a pretty stock saddle with steel rails and a steel seat post. But overall the ECR is fully built, stock ready to get out on the trail, load up with some gear, and get into a great adventure right off the floor. So as you can see, Surly gives you a pretty sweet stock setup, but like any bike geek, I have to completely change my rig and do some customizing to it to kind of fit my riding needs. So right off the bat, I'm a pretty big drop fan, drop bar fan, so I went with the Salsa Wood Chippers. That is a, those are 42s, but uh, as you can see, they give you a super wide stance on the front end of the bike. Really nice big reach, especially whenever you're going down into something gnarly. Um, Tektro brakes, and I went with a Shimano Dura-Ace bar end shifter. Really like that classic touring style. Um, I also took off the steel fork and put on the MRP rock solid carbon post fork. That's the 490, which clears the tire pretty well. And because uh, I lost my bosses, I just kind of zip-tied some cages to the fork. It's working for now. I might try something different, but for now it works. Aside from that, I pretty much kept the drivetrain pretty much the same. I'm thinking about upgrading some parts to some XT, maybe some XTR stuff. But right now it's working just fine for me. And then I put on a 3T Mountain Carbon seat post which has been super comfy and uh, kinda ditched the stock saddle that I had on there and went with the Sella Atomica um, super comfortable saddle really nice leather um, kinda sits like a hammock and really holds me in there really well Been super happy with that really comfortable in the long run but yeah that's pretty much my setup as of now I'm thinking about changing a couple more things 
working, just started working with a company called Gravity Works, who is a carbon manufacturer, and uh, talking about putting some 29 plus carbon rims on there, especially for my ride of the Arizona Trail, which number one is going to lighten up the bike quite a bit and obviously make it handle completely different and a lot nicer. So really looking forward to that. And aside from that, I've been really, really happy with the ECR. Uh, not only do I ride it bikepacking trips, I also ride it every day to work, cruising around, cruising down to the bar, riding single track, just everything. It's a really great all-around bike for me, and I really love it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like or dislike the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go over and check me out on Instagram. Um, I post a lot of new pictures early on in the week and even some previews of the video that I do every Thursday. I'm getting really close to starting my through ride of the Arizona Trail less than two months away and in about two weeks I'll be doing a full breakdown gear review of my entire rig that I'll be taking on the Arizona Trail. So keep an eye out for that and as always guys thanks for watching. Yeah.